All right, what's up everybody? This is Lee with Geek City USA and today my Zelda in a box came in. I'm talking about Tiny Epic Quest. Uh, I backed this back, no, it was last year, I think uh, November, December, and it arrived today almost a month early. So i um, pretty excited about that and wanted to kind of open it up, show you guys what to expect when you get this. So I already took it out of that. Who needs that, right? So here we have, pretty geeked, it's the uh, deluxe edition because there's no other way to do it. I didn't get the, um, I didn't get the, the mat. Um, to me, the mat, while it's cool, I, I just, I'm cheap. I can't justify spending the cost of a game for a part of a game. I'd rather get another game. So uh, maybe one day. And here we go, get the plastic out of here. What do we have? All right, so I love this. This is one of the things that I think are often overlooked in uh, tiny, tiny Epic Games. So here you got the, uh, the dice tray. And it's always, the art is always phenomenal. And it's just kind of cool to get to use this to roll in. And it looks like this actually has uh, quite a bit of game in-game information here, so that's that's pretty cool. So we got our rule book here, which is uh, typically first thing I do, I, like everybody. If I'm not watching a Rodney Smith video, I'm reading a rule book. So this is this is my couch material. So uh, pretty good looking rule book, pretty in depth, full color, high quality. It's one thing you have to give uh, Game One Games. These games are high quality. They may be small, but they are high quality. Absolutely love it. Golden Mushroom, so this would be uh, one of the, I'm assuming, I think this is one of the Kickstarter expansions, or uh, maybe part of the deluxe. Um, I have a acquisition disorder. I, I tend to back a whole lot more than I really pay attention to. So, okay, here's what everybody's been talking about. So this right here is what got me super pumped for this game. The meeples with the item meeples, I guess they are, item meeples. Um, I wasn't excited to find out they were plastic at first um, because I'm kind of old school and I really prefer the wood feel. But man, these are cool. And as long as these hold up with time, I, uh, I have no complaints. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys can see that. Check that out, a little blurry. I don't know, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, and then these are pretty sweet. I don't know, I, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm pretty old school. I used to put my uh, Warhammer guys together. So to me, being able to pick my swords and shields and staffs or whatever I'm gonna give my guy, I don't know, I'm pretty pumped about that. So this kind of reminds me of this whole rack. If anybody played uh, Hero Quest back in the day, I'm sure a lot of you have, but Kind of reminds me of there used to be that little rack where you would put all the uh, put a bunch of weapons on. It always seemed to break. I think I painted mine. Anyway, here is the item rack as well as a bunch of chits, which I'm surprised that there is uh, there's no need to punch these ahead of time, or um, not ahead of time, but they're they're already punched ahead of time. So kind of didn't expect that. So which which is cool. I don't mind punching stuff, but. The quicker I can get to play the game, I'm good with that. Uh, here we have, so this is the Rest and Adventure. So obviously these are the, the cards, obviously for the game. Dice, here's another thing that I was cool, thought was pretty cool is the dice are actually like marble. So they are, they're not just plain white with a graphic in them. They're actually kind of like a gray, it's kind of, if you guys can see that, but uh, they've got a kind of cool marble look to them. And I love the custom, the custom engraved dice. I think this is a cool touch. Um, kind of helps send the game over the top a little bit. This looks to be uh, life counters, first player token maybe, uh, player chits, I don't know. We'll figure it out as we play the game. It's pretty sweet. And then this is what will build the board that makes it epic. So tiny box, epic gameplay. So, I don't know, this is pretty sweet. 
big, big fan, like I said, of the Tiny Epic series. Um, just like, I mean, touches like that, the art in there is awesome. So, looking forward to getting to play this game. That's going to be what I do next. Um, I'll sit down and set this up and play with it. And, I don't know, hopefully maybe con somebody into coming over tonight to play it. And uh, maybe even get one of my kids at it. And I'll let you guys know how it is. So again, one tiny epic quest from Gamelum Games. A game of adventures by Scott Alms. Thank you guys for, uh, for checking out. Uh, go ahead and subscribe or like or do whatever you want to do. This is Lee with Geek City USA and I will see you next time.